Okay, we are going to take a look of question number one. It says that we need to find the sixth term of 3x minus 2 raised to the seventh power. So the key to this question is make sure you don't just write down 3x minus 2, 3x minus 2, seven times and then multiply them out. That way will work, but it's going to take you a long, long time. Okay, so this is how we are supposed to do it. We are going to use the binomial theorem. And before that, let me make a note first. Let me make a note. So we have a notation that we're seeing in the book. N choose R. Okay, this is how you how you say it. N choose R. That's exactly the same as N C R on the calculator. Okay, N choose R or N C R. These two are exactly the same. They are just different notation. And you will see this on the calculator. And this one is it's easier to write. Okay, this one is the one that we're going to use in the video and in, in the class. Okay, so 3x minus 2 raised to the 7th power. This is how we do it. Take a look of the exponent. We have 7. So start off with uh, the combination. Okay, well, I'm going to use this. So I'll write on this. Since the exponent is 7, the n is equal to 7. And we're going to start off with 0. So the first term right here is n choose 0. So, and this is how we're going to do it. And I will show you guys a long way first. I will write down the whole expansion. And then later on, I will talk about how we can just find the sixth term without doing all this. So n choose 0. And then uh, I, will leave some, I will leave some space. And then I will write plus um, 7 choose 1. I mean 7 choose 0, and then the second one will be 7 choose 1. And then I will have leave, leave some space plus 7 choose 2. Leave some space plus 7 choose 3. And then I'm going to write it down right here. Plus 7 choose 4. Leave some space plus 7 choose 5. Plus 7 choose 6. At the end, plus 7 choose 7. So this is how you ask. Uh, this is like the blueprint that you want to start. Start off with the exponent, which is 7, and that's the n. And all the n's will be 7. And then you want to start off with 0 for the second number, for the r. 0, and then you go up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so that's the, uh, the, the start. That's called the binomial coefficient. And then, we are going to use the numbers, the terms inside. Let me write down the 3x first. Okay? And then I'm going to write down 3x in parentheses for all this. So I'll write down 3x in parentheses, 3x in parentheses, 3x in parentheses, 3x in parentheses, 3x right here, and then 3x in parentheses, parentheses 3x, and then last one, 3x in parentheses. And this is the deal. So the first term, 3x. This is going to raise to the seventh exponent. The seventh power, seventh exponent. You want to start off with seven? That's the first term. Okay, that's the first term for the three x. And then the next one, you will start go down. The exponent, the exponent of three x will start to go down. So seven, then you will have six. And then this one, you will have five. Four. And then this one, three. Two. 1, all the way to 0, okay? So that's pretty much it for the 3x, right? It's, it's not bad, right? The setup is not bad, it's very systematic. One more thing, we are going to work with the negative 2. Likewise, uh, like how we do the with the 3x, I'll just put negative 2 in parentheses for all this. Negative 2, negative 2, negative 2, negative 2, negative 2, one more right here. And then the last one right here. So for negative two, for negative two, the exponent for this negative two right here, we will uh, we'll start off with zero. Okay, so negative two to the zeroth power for the first term right here. And then for the next one, the exponent is going to start um, go up, go up by one every time. So we have one. And then two. Three. Negative 2 to the uh, 4. Negative 2 to the 5. 6. The last one, 7. 
And that's pretty much it. That's the whole expansion. That's the binomial theorem. Okay, so there are a few things that you want to pay attention to. Notice how the exponents of the 3x and the negative 2, they always add up to 7. Right? Zero, uh, 7 plus 0 is 7. And we can look at this one. 5 plus 2 is also 7. We can look at this one. 3 plus 4 is also 7. So when you add up these two exponents, they must add up to the original exponents right here. So that's one thing. And just make sure that you do this, uh, you set this up uh, systematically. Okay, and the question is asking us to find the sixth term. We found everything, but that's not how you answer the question. We just need to count. This will be the first term. Second, third, fourth, fifth, and the sixth. So this right here is what we are looking for. And we just need to take this and then do some calculations, and that will be it for the answer. So, uh, let me write it down. The sixth is term is 7 choose 5 times parentheses 3x to the second and then parentheses negative 2 to the 5 so for 7 choose 5 this is uh, the same as 7, seven choose 5 on the calculator so you can do that on the calculator okay and then let me just write down everything else 3x squared negative 2 to the 5. And I'll show you how to do this on the calculator. So I'll get my calculator and make sure everybody can see my calculator. So um, when you punch in this, you want to start off with 7 first. And then you need to look for your NCR key on the calculator. And then here is my NCR key. It's in orange. Oops. It's in orange. Um, you need to hit the shift, right? In this case, I need to hit the shift first. Hit the shift, and then you see how that changes a little bit, and just hit this. So I get 7C, and then hit 5. 7C5, 7 choose 5, equal 21. So this becomes 21. So let me put this away. Yeah. 21 times 3x squared. We need to do 3 squared. Right, 3 times 3, which is 9. x squared is just x squared times negative, negative 2 to the 5th power. You can do that on the calculator, or you know that's a negative 32. But I'll just show you on the calculator. Parentheses, negative 2, parentheses, and I have my power key right here. Okay, so this is my power key raised to the 5th power, and then I get negative 32. And now put that in the parentheses because, yeah, it's a negative. I want to put it in parentheses. Um, otherwise, it looks like a subtraction. Okay, then we just need to finish this up. So 21 times 9 times negative 32, and you can use a cal uh, you can use a parentheses on the calculator. It doesn't really matter on my calculator. Equals to negative 60 48. Negative 6048. So that's what you get when you multiply 21 and 9 and negative 32. And then you still have x to the second power. And that's it. And that's it. That's how you find the sixth term. Okay, the sixth term.